a demonstration of the Aero Marine Research Tunnel Boat and V Boat Design Program version 8.8. .8. I'm Jim Russell, and I'm going to show how easy it is to use the Automated Performance Analysis Wizard tool to get a highly accurate prediction of the maximum velocity of your boat. So let's get right to the operation by going straight to the first screen, the Design File Selection screen, and selecting our Recreational Tunnel Outboard Design Model. This selection already has all of its design specifications entered properly on the five input screens. My base hull design setup is a 19-foot recreational tunnel with a center pod powered by a 225 horsepower Mercury outboard. I will now show you just how fast and easy it is to do a performance analysis using the Auto 123 wizard. I want my tunnel boat design program to predict my maximum speed. So I'll check the 123 analysis box this automates the calculation of maximum velocity for my setup and horsepower available. Now I'll click Calc Perform and get maximum velocity, and there it is. The report wizard gives me a summary report telling me that my maximum limiting velocity is 91 miles an hour. It also summarizes the distribution of lift that is contributed by sponsons, center pod, and aerodynamic forces that are operating at this speed, and drag force distributions for all contributors at this speed. And the wizard report summarizes many more performance measures for my design too. Now I'm ready to go to step two of the performance analysis. So all I need to do is click on add VMAX. The Auto 123 wizard has now set the starting velocity, the maximum velocity, and the velocity range steps, and has set the performance analysis method to automatically adjust the operating trim angles that are required throughout the entire velocity range. Now I can click on Calc Perform again, and I get the completed performance analysis, starting with the Report Wizard. This version of the Report Wizard is really outstanding. The Wizard has reviewed the detailed performance results for the entire velocity range. The report is full of key performance measures and advice that's specific to my hull design and setup. There are other videos that describe all the details of the Report Wizard, but I want to show you the key information that helps us know the maximum speed of our boat. It shows me the maximum limiting velocity of 91 miles an hour that we saw before. This is the theoretical upper bound for this hull design and would not likely represent the practical upper bound for VMAX. Of more interest is the ingenious maximum practical velocity analysis. The wizard has analyzed the performance results and determined when dynamic stability is approaching. For example, it is noted that the required trim angle shows a significant increase or a higher rate of change at around 85 miles an hour. So we can say that the operating velocities greater than 85 miles an hour may be approaching a region of unstable or unsafe operation for this hull setup. So the maximum practical velocity is set at 85 miles an hour. That's all there is to finding the top speed of my boat design and setup. Of course, there's a lot more performance information that shows how the wizard determined the maximum practical velocity. I can click details and I get the full performance out output screens that show how my boat behaves through its entire velocity range. And I can see it all in graphic format too. For example, the trim angle graph shows the required change in trim angle at each velocity. We can see that the change in trim angle becomes more extreme at about 85 miles an hour, which is our maximum practical velocity. Or we can see what velocity our boat is susceptible to porpoising. And we can see the change in dynamic stability throughout the velocity range. There's lots more performance information presented here, but now that we know our top speed, I'm just going to go back to the design input screens. That's how easy it is to do one simple but important piece of performance information, our maximum practical velocity of our boat design and setup. This is just a first step, of course. There's a lot that we can learn about the performance of any boat by trying different designs, dimensions, and setups, and we can see all the results on the screen with Tunnel Boat Design Program. 